Have you ever stood at the seafood section of your local market, staring at labels that say shrimp and prawns, wondering if there's really a difference between them or if it's all just clever marketing? You're not alone. These two names are often used interchangeably, especially in restaurants and grocery stores, which makes things even more confusing. But despite looking similar and tasting nearly identical, shrimp and prawns aren't exactly the same thing. And the differences go beyond just their names. In this video, we're diving deep, pun intended, into the fascinating world of shrimp versus prawns. We'll break down how they differ biologically, where they live, how they taste, and even how cultures around the world use the terms. By the end, you'll never mix them up again, probably. Let's get into it, right here, on History of Simple Things. Let's start with the science. Both shrimp and prawns are crustaceans, which means they're related to crabs and lobsters. But when you look closer, they actually belong to different suborders. Shrimp are part of the suborder Pleosiomata, while prawns fall under Dendrobranchiata. That might sound like academic nitpicking, but it has real consequences in how they look and behave. For example, prawns have branching gills, which is where the suborder name Dendrobranchiata comes from. Shrimp, on the other hand, have lamellar or plate-like gills. But perhaps the easiest way to tell them apart physically is by looking at their body structure. Shrimp have a distinct bend or curve in their body and overlapping plates on their abdomen. The second segment overlaps both the first and third segments. Prawns, meanwhile, have straighter bodies and each abdominal segment overlaps the next one in a tidy stacked pattern. Another key difference? Their claws. Shrimp typically have larger front pincers on just one pair of legs, while prawns have larger pincers on three pairs. If you're ever handling them raw, that's a helpful clue. Now let's talk about where these little sea creatures live. Shrimp are more commonly found in salt water. Think oceans, bays, and estuaries. They love brackish environments, Prawns, on the other hand, are usually freshwater dwellers. You'll often find them in rivers and lakes, especially in places like Southeast Asia and parts of India. That's not a hard rule, though. Some prawns live in salt water, and some shrimp live in freshwater. But in general, shrimp dominate the oceans, while prawns are more common in freshwater environments. Geography also plays a role in how the terms are used. In the United States and Canada, shrimp is the preferred term for almost everything, whether it's technically a shrimp or a prawn. In the UK, Australia, and New Zealand, prawn is more commonly used, even when referring to true shrimp. So if you're traveling abroad, don't be surprised if your shrimp cocktail comes with what Americans would call prawns. So, what about taste? Here's where things get interesting. Most people can't tell the difference in flavor between shrimp and prawns. Both have that sweet, mild, slightly briny seafood taste we all associate with dishes like scampi, gumbo, or grilled skewers. That said, some chefs claim prawns have a slightly sweeter, firmer texture, especially the larger ones. Shrimp, on the other hand, are said to be a bit more tender and delicate. But again, this varies more by species and how they're cooked than by whether they're technically shrimp or prawns. In blind taste tests, most people can't consistently tell one from the other. So unless you're a seasoned chef or just really picky, it's probably not something your taste buds will notice. Cultural preferences play a big role in how these crustaceans are used. In the U.S., shrimp are the go-to. You'll find them fried, grilled, boiled, tossed in pasta, or topping tacos. 
Prawns show up occasionally on menus, but they're often marketed as a fancier or more gourmet option. In Australia and the UK, the word prawn is the default. Think of the classic Aussie line, throw another prawn on the Barbie, even though that line was actually made famous in an ad campaign targeting Americans. In Asian cuisine, prawns are especially popular. In countries like Thailand, Vietnam, and India, freshwater prawns are often cooked in curries or grilled whole. Their slightly firmer texture makes them great for stews and sauces. It's also worth noting that labeling isn't consistent. One store's prawns might be another shrimp. So if you're buying seafood for a recipe, it's best to look at the size, origin, and freshness rather than the name. Nutritionally, shrimp and prawns are nearly identical. They're both excellent sources of lean protein, low in fat, and packed with key nutrients like vitamin B12, iodine, and omega-3 fatty acids. They're also low in calories, making them a great option for anyone watching their weight or trying to eat more healthily. Just be mindful of how you prepare them. Deep-fried shrimp may taste amazing, but it's not quite as good for you as grilled prawns with a squeeze of lemon. One small caveat. Both shrimp and prawns are relatively high in cholesterol. But current research suggests that dietary cholesterol doesn't have as much impact on heart health as once believed, especially when it comes from lean, nutrient-rich seafood. At the end of the day, should you choose shrimp or prawns? Honestly, the answer depends on what's available, your recipe, and your personal preferences. Most people use the terms interchangeably and may never notice the difference. So now you know, shrimp and prawns are not the same thing, but the difference isn't always black and white. Between biology, habitat, size, and culinary culture, these crustaceans have their own quirks. But when it comes to your plate, both are delicious, versatile, and worth celebrating. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.